नमस्कार नमस्कार वॉइस ऑफ योगा के इस हेल्थ टॉक शो में आप सभी दर्शकों का स्वागत है आज का जो विषय है वो आयुर्वेद फॉर इम्यूनिटी जिसके लिए मैं सर्वप्रथम बहुत बहुत आभार व्यक्त करना चाहूंगा आर्य वैदशाला कोतकल जिन्होंने ये अपॉर्चुनिटी हमें प्रोवाइड की है कि हम ये टॉक शो का एक सीरीज रख सकें और मैं इस संदर्भ में सबसे ज्यादा आभार व्यक्त प्रकट करूंगा इनके जो इंचार्ज दिल्ली के हैं हरिदास सर और साथ ही साथ मैं उनके जो सहयोगी जिनके साथ आज हमारी टॉक वार्ता होगी डॉक्टर किरण के जी सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सर इस टॉक शो में और मैं ये मंच अब आपके हवाले करता हूँ यहाँ से आप अपनी जर्नी स्टार्ट करें थैंक यू सो मच सर वेलकम वेलकम सो वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल सो अवर टॉपिक फॉर टूडे प्रेजेंटेशन इज Ayurveda for immunity. It's one of the most relevant subject to discuss in the present time when a pandem pandemic is affecting uh, all over the globe. So, without much delay, I will directly start the presentation. Everyone is looking way to fight against the pandemic. So, strengthening our immunity. Right? having a properly functional immune system the one of the best way to fight against any diseases uh, navin ji you can start the slide yeah yeah <clears throat> okay you can start the start playing yeah it is visible to you yeah it's it's visible and it's uh, okay now the camera alignment everything is fine right yeah yeah fine, fine. Okay, I think okay. Yeah, next slide, please. So our topic is Ayurveda for immunity. Myself, Dr. Kiran, uh, from Ayurveda Shala, Kota, Kerala, South Delhi. So we'll uh, start the talk. So first, uh, we'll start the uh, today's session after offering prayers to Lord Dhanandri. Next, slide. and uh, Lord uh, Vishambara. Uh, next, and paying homage to great Vaidhyanam PS warrior, uh, our founder. He founded Ayurveda Shala in 1902. A great visionary. Next slide. Next slide, please. So the Panja Mahabodha. Actually, we all heard about Panja Mahabodha. Tha. In Ayurveda, uh, human beings are considered a miniature replica of the universe. So both the universe and human beings are made of Panja Mahabodha, the structural component of the body. The uh, uh, Pruthi, Jalam, Vayu, Agasam, and Teja. So these are structural uh, components. Just briefly, we will see the uh, basic concept and we will directly come to the topic. Next slide. Tridoshas. Tridoshas. Okay. So doshas can be like group, uh, represent group of physiological activities going continuously in the body. A functional uh, elements we can call. See, so the tridoshas are Vada, Pitta, and Kaba. So it's a broad concept. Briefly, Vada, the concept of Vada can be attributed to the activities of neuroendocrine system, respiratory system, and some instance, uh, catabolic activity also. And functions of Pitta can be attributed to the also of digestion, assimilation, thermogenesis, and metabolism. Uh, and Kaba in general represent potential source of strength and that resist disease and decay. Its function can be ascribed to that of fluid balance, nutrition, uh, tissue building, and immunological and anabolic activity. So these are three doshas, functional elements in the body. So th their balance is health. When their balance is affected, diseases are happening. Next slide. Okay. So Ayurveda. Uh, Ayurveda means Ayu and Veda. So Ayu means life and Veda means science. So Ayurveda is not just a treatment system, but also a science of
uh, sense of life. Explain how to maintain a healthy life, uh, detail explaining dinacharya, daily regimens, rudhacharya, seasonal regimens. Hello. Hello. Uh, I mean, see, I'm not able to see the slide. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Vishma. I mean, I'm not able to see the slide. Okay, so the Ayurveda has uh, detail explained daily regimens, seasonal regimens, uh, uh, healthy diet, and uh, uh, necessity of body purification, and then explain the diseases and their treatment. So it has mainly two aims: sastasya, swastya, rakshanam, adurasya, vigara prashnam. Means protecting health of a healthy person and and treating ailments of a patient. Am I audible now? And the yeah, yeah. PowerPoint presentation are visible? Some disturbance yeah. happened. I, think, yeah, yeah. I hope now it's visible. Okay. So these are the two main aims. So this is the direction of maintenance of health. The other is the Vigara person curing ailments. Next slide, please. Okay, so now the Ayurvedic definition of health. So we can see the Ayurveda explained that by divine health is with a Sanskrit slogan, Samadosha Samadhinishcha, Samadhadu Malakriya, Rasanna Atma Indriyamana, Sosta Itya Vidyate. We can see the meaning. So we can see how comprehensively Ayurveda explained a healthy person. One is in perfect health, one the three doshas, the digestive fire, the Agni, Jadratni, and the process of assimilation metabolism. All the body tissues and components, all the excretory functions are in perfect order with pleasantly disposed contented mind, sense, and spirit. So we'll see the WHO definition of health. It's almost uh, uh, similar. We can see that Ayurveda is one step ahead. Next slide. The uh, WHO, World Health Organization, defined health as state of complete physical, mental, and social well being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So, our Next slide. So, coming to the topic, our uh, topic is uh, Ayurveda for immunity. What is immunity? Immunity is defined as the resistance exhibited by the host towards injury caused by microorganism and their product. We will see the types of immunity. Immunity, see, the immunity mainly innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Adaptive or acquired. Innate, innate immunity means the uh, like in immunity is known as natural or genetic immunity is the immunity that we are uh, born with and adaptive immunity or acquired immunity so it's a uh, or two, two, two types we can natural and artificial so the natural adaptive immunity also passive and active passive is maternal see the natural uh, uh, or maternal passive immunity immunity passed along from the mother to child through placenta before birth and through uh, breast milk after delivery. And uh, active natural immunity. Active natural immunity is uh, the immunity uh, we are like, uh, for example, uh, we are attaining following the exposure to pathogens, uh, just like chickenpox. We are getting the infection, so body will have antibodies and memory cells will uh, remain there for decades. So we are getting 
immunity against one specific disease after the exposure to the pathogen. So these are the uh, two types of natural immunity. And now come the artificial immunity types of artificial. So that also we can uh, divide into passive artificial immunity and active artificial immunity. So artificial passive immunity actually is like through antibody transfer. Uh, for example, uh, rabies vaccine, snake venom, uh, snake antivenom. The, the, the antibody containing preparation uh, properties are preparations are termed as anti-serum. So now artificial active immunity, it is mainly by immunization or vaccination. Uh, so it uh, gives us protection against the specific disease, uh, polio, vaccine, uh, hepatitis B, like that. So it uh, protects the specific disease only. Next slide, please. The previous, oh, yes. So the Ayurveda explain uh, immunity using a term Vyadik Shamatvam. We'll see. So Vyadik Shamatvam is different. Vyadik Shamatvam is called Vyadi Bala Virodhitvam, Vyadi Utpadaga Pradibandagatvam. So Vyadi Bala Virodhitvam means Yes, as I written, capacity of body to fight against the manifested disease. And we are the Udpadaga Pradibandagatam. Capacity of body to resist the pathogenic process of forming a disease. The Ayurveda, while starting the Chigilsa, I mean, Akshana Sangra, Jora Chigilsa is the first chapter, different types of fever. So the first, uh, it starts with a shoga, Baladishtara Marogim, Arogyarta Priyatama. So here, uh, Bala means immunity. So, Bala Adishtanam, Arogyam. Arogyam, health of a person is directly depending on, proportional to, depending on immunity. Arogyartha Kriyakrama. So, Bala and Oja, two uh, terms are used uh, while explaining uh, Vyadi Shama. Sound immunity. Right. Uh, am I audible? Y yes, yeah. yes. Uh, I, I hope I'm audible. Ah, okay. So, Ojas is... Uh, 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 consider the essence of all the dadus. We will uh, next slide, please. Uh, next slide. Ah. Ayurveda also uh, mainly three types of uh, vyadi kshamata, three types of immunity. So we can see, see Ayurveda also explain the innate immunity and the uh, kalaja yukti three types actually. So sahaja, kalaja, and yukti Sahaja just like innate since birth, the immunity we are having since uh, birth. Kalaja, strength gain that favorable time, like age and season. So, see, I realize uh, children will be having a weak immune system. Uh, children and uh, aged people. Uh, you in youth will have a sound, strong immunity. Then, uh, depending on season also, certain season the bala will be less uh, in Grishma and Varsha, rainy season and extreme summer. And then Shishira Hemanda, the strength, the bala of an individual will be more. So in Varsha rainy season, the chance of getting diseases are more. In other season, uh, it will be less. Now coming to the, so these uh, are Sahaja and Kaja. Yukti Krida, which is important because that's, the, where, that's where we can improve our immunity. So Yukti Krida immunity is, it's acquired by means of nutritious diet, regular exercise, and intake of Rasayana. I'm trying to explain briefly a simple manner. Uh, ah, next slide. So we will see how oh, these things can be attained, the ways to improve immunity. Next slide, please, Naveen. So we can divide them into three categories, diet, uh, lifestyle, medication. I mean, we can divide into, uh, into three headings, diet, lifestyle, and medication. So we'll see each of them. First, diet. Next slide. Yes, Ahara. So a healthy person should take a balanced diet having all the six rasa in moderate amount. Okay, the so balanced nutritious diet is very, very important. And one should take hot, fresh food in good company at appropriate time, which is very important, which practically many of us are unable to follow. 
സം ഡയറ്ററ്റിക് ഐറ്റംസ് വൈൽ നറിഷിംഗ് ടിഷ്യൂസ് മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ എ ബാലൻസ്ഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടിഷ്യൂസ് ദോഷാസ് ആൻഡ് മലാസ് വേസ്റ്റ് പ്രൊഡക്ട്സ് The diet should mainly consist of these items. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. So what is a balanced diet? The balanced diet contains water is very important. The next slide will come. Water. So intake of water is also very, very important to have a balanced diet. At least two and a half to three and a half liters of water is essential. so water certain medicated water etc we will come in the uh, we will discuss in the coming slides second is ca- carbohydrate protein l- limited fat and micronutrients that means mainly vegetables and fruits they are also very important the protein as per the requirement carbohydrate should be depending on uh, upon our physical activity and fat should be minimal so the balanced diet should contain everything uh, daily next slide so when we uh, can divide our stomach into uh, uh, four parts the so two part should be uh, uh, we should take solid food and one part for water and one part should remain uh, left empty for vayu for the digestion process to take place properly because a proper digestion is very very important see even if you take nutritious food and uh, or vitamins also see, we don't get the benefit of everything what we eat we get the benefit of what our body absorbs assimilates so to have a agni proper digestive system is very important so we need to follow these rules uh, the two parts uh, uh, solid food one part for water and one part should left empty for vayu or air uh, next slide i hope everyone is able to follow i am not able to see anyone and i am not able to see me also i hope everyone is able to follow the slide uh, yeah yeah presentation yeah okay thank you so ayurveda explains shadrasa prasana shadrasa six states are madhura amla levana tikta kadu and kashaya so the diet should contain all the six rasas so this will promote growth immunity and energy of okay, next slide will uh, move it ah, next certain food items uh, uh, to just uh, uh, have a view of uh, balanced diet uh, protein fat, carbohydrate next slide fruits and vegetable milk etc yeah yeah next slide please some basic rules of diet relevant in the present era from modern time also we should eat freshly cooked food and preferably within 3 hours after cooking and avoid refrigerated and reheated food as much as possible avoid uh, junk food also as much as possible minimize it traditional foods are very uh, much suitable for everyone so uh, region wise difference will be there the food which is healthy or suitable for people of kerala may not be suitable that much suitable for people from rajasthan or northern india so region wise difference are there in our diet but traditional foods are to an extent healthy so traditional food following this concept if we take so we will be getting a balanced nutritious diet and true food should be moderate in quantity ayurveda always explain you should take meal after the digestion of your previous meal only never eat in hurry this is also very important we should eat in a comfortable atmosphere in a sitting position preferably and uh, the buffet system etc not uh, good say ayurveda we have to eat to sit comfortably and have food and while taking food avoid watching tv uh, talking loud etc while having food so very basic things uh, but important things next slide okay so ayurveda ekta hida aahara means the suitable food directly leads to healthy body and ahida aahara leads to disease yes next slide so we explained about the diet briefly so i hope everyone got a brief concept about diet now coming the all the other things we can uh, 
put them under the heading of lifestyle so dinacharya daily regimens are detailedly explained ayurveda ruducharya seasonal regimens based on the seasonal requirements so seasonal regimens i am not going to explain then it will take it will be our presentation so the each season uh, different regimens but daily regimens we will uh, see detailedly so you can read i hope you can read the slide so brahmo a healthy person should awake at brahma muhurta approximately one and a half hour before sunrise and evacuation of bowel and bladder in the morning and brushing teeth cleaning tongue anjana cholerium nasya nasal medication gandusha or holding of liquid medicine orally or gargling dhuma inhalation of herbal smoke and tambura sarma chewing betel leaf is with, without tobacco definitely without tobacco chewing of betel leaf for next slide please then uh, abhyanga oil application vyayama exercise we will see each uh, uh, topics Uh, separately udhvartana powder massage and snanam bath and another important thing is uh, breakfast See, the food uh, shall be taken only when the that i told previously just meal digestion and the wholesome and in moderate quantity and it, well, breakfast should uh, we should take breakfast uh, at a proper time that is also very much important uh, like uh, uh, after uh, within half an hour after bath so the digestive fire the dig- agni deepti will be there after bath so there is uh, in northern india and all many especially females are more prone for osteoarthritis and all uh, especially by age of 40 so everyone will have a habit like morning they prepare breakfast they feed their uh, kids and husband and they will uh, puja sab karte in puja then they have breakfast late maybe by 11 and so so which uh, can uh, uh, cause dadukshaya and uh, one reason for having osteoarthritis or something other than we can see next slide please we will see each of the nacharya separately brahma muhurta the benefit of brahma muhurta is mind is fresh and surroundings are calm and quiet one can concentrate on meditation prayer and studies provide energy for the entire day so approximately uh, uh, time can be calculated for 30 One and a half hour before sunrise. Next slide. Bowel and bladder evacuation in the morning. In the morning time, autonomic reflux are naturally active. So that gives a relief of and prevents distension and heaviness of stomach, etc. Yes, next. About oral hygiene, it's explained. Uh, well, uh, we'll uh, move a little bit past. because brushing teeth kashaya kadu tiktarasas are explained uh, for brushing teeth at least uh, twice a day uh, next slide tank cleaning thanks uh, having uh, help to get rid of waste products and bad odor of, from the mouth and it uh, improve the odor of mouth and exert taste and it uh, uh, clear the uh, unnecessary bacterial flora anjanam polyrium so you can easily read it's a pleasing to the eyes eh? the benefits are eyelashes will become unctuous and thick clean beautiful eyes with sharp vision uh, next slide nasyam nasyam is one of the very important one among the panchakarma and in covid time also as a preventive method when a prophylactic method in this is explained so nasyam is simply nasayam praneyamanam aushadha nasyam nasal use of medicine medicine is still through nasal is uh, known as nasyam it helpful in preventing all the diseases that affect supraclavicular region anuthailam there are many oils which uh, is used for nasya anuthailam chirabala 101 dhanvandaram 101 uh, and shadbindu uh, thailam uh, all depends on the condition so general healthy person also do in a pradimars nasya one or two drops in disease condition uh, higher dose is done and nasyam uh, gives relief from disease of head and neck it helps in proper functioning of sense organs these slides i have written everything no no current over in girls graying baldness and hyperpigmentation etc are the benefits uh, it uh, helps in getting fragrance of mouth it boosts strength of jaw teeth head neck and cervical vertebra and shoulders in cervical spondylosis etc nasyam is considered as a, one of the best treatment Uh, yes okay 
okay <clears throat> so other thing gandusham gandusham is uh, holding of liquid medicine orally kabalam is there it's a gargle so uh, we will see the uh, uh, suitable methods of gargle in the coming slides in the present and preventive aspect duma inhalation of herbal smoke tambula charvana chewing betel leaf with requisite condiments so these are explained as a part of daily regimen dinajariya to do daily next slide please abhyangam abhyangam it say abhyango vada pushti swapna dhaadya brahat tat abhyanga classify the vada that means the santigata vada or the degenerative diseases it's a abhyanga the regular oil application prevents or delays and oil application of the world especially on head ears and feet low back neck and shoulder and knee also many oils can be used that nandaran thailam vilya narayana thailam etc so daily abhyang at least once a week or twice a week oil massage on body is helpful so all these are see part of improving immunity part so making our immune system strong strong i mean a properly functional immune system that will be the right term yes next slide the benefits of abhyanga is uh, uh, explained skin becomes soft strong uh, blood vessels and nerve endings the skin are toned up increase the muscular tone relieves fatigue induced sleep reduces sound sleep it delays aging and promotes longevity also uh, see if suppose we are taking medicine for a disease so our oil application etc uh, helps in improving should be depending on the condition should be done by on medical advice only it uh, the time so we are, for example we are expecting a, a good relief in a month or period but with abhyanga that time can be reduced to 15 days it improving in the lymphatic circulation etc so next slide udhvartaram powder massage is what happened mainly for the previous slide main previous slide previous slide uh, mainly for obese person so and to Uh, improve the complexion of skin also upward massage with the powdered drugs it disintegrates cover dissolves away fat provides firmness to body parts it clarifies the skin kola kola thadi churna ela thadi churna graha dhuma thadi churna are examples certain disease condition also udvartana is done and uh, next mainly uh, for obese uh, person vyayama so exercise is very very important we all know practice of physical exercise from vyayama next slide we'll see the benefits of vyayama or exercise i hope every uh, slide everyone can read the slide make body light and efficient in activities improves digestive fire veins obesity and uh, see, promotes circulation and uh, uh, maintaining a healthy weight and also improving overall immunity uh, next slide snanam or bath so one should take bath at least once a day pay special attention to body secretion areas and every orifice once or twice a day uh, is uh, advisable advantages of snanam improves digestion provides health longevity and enhances sexual drive and energy and strength it tackles itching dirt fatigue and sweat and lethargy uh, next slide so i will explain warm water on body can as a general rule but maybe in summer season you can use uh, cold water bath but when you are on treatment or when you have any health certain health conditions warm water on body is preferred cold water on head and face uh, morning before breakfast uh, you should not take bath immediately after food uh, you should take bath before breakfast i uh, should have food uh, breakfast uh, Uh, within half an hour evening uh, also if before between 4 and 6 pm always before food these are the general rules uh, yes next slide yes the next uh, one of the very important thing to have a robust immunity is sleep next slide yes sleep is one among the three pillars main for the maintenance of health sleep is a state when both mind and body is at rest while in sleep the melatonin secretion uh, by pineal gland takes place this has got many benefit it uh, is a hormone which uh, gives us a feeling of well being also uh, 
uh, with ha having a property of uh, antioxidant property. So sleep, uh, usually six to eight hours sleep is required. And sleep should be at a proper time. See, certain in the present era, work from home, our night shift, etc. So our body actually we are in connection with the nature. There is a circadian rhythm. So uh, sun, uh, body is in direct connection with sunrise and sunset. So sleep should be at night. Yes. Uh, next slide. So prayobastamba. So all these are uh, Ayurveda considered three sub pillars. Ahara. Could we already discussed sopna, the sleep, and abramajariya. Abramajariya means healthy, controlled sex. So Ayurveda explains sex intercourse should be performed early in night, should not be done uh, noon or in the evening, and uh, less frequently in summer, and can be more frequent during winter, like that. Next slide. Yes. Now, certain natural urges. Adharaniya Vegas means the, the natural urges which should not, we should not control this natural urges. I, 13 uh, natural urges are explained. Vada, Vind, Mutra, Shava, Trid, Shuddha, Nidra, Kasa, uh, from, uh, Kasa, Jrambasu, Chardi, Vedasa. So I uh, detailly explain and uh, it is visible. So all these natural urges one should not forcefully initiate or uh, forcefully control. We should not do that. If by, uh, while do, uh, by doing so, many health conditions, it will, uh, many disease conditions can arise. Next slide. Nidra, cup, so which we explained, but, uh, 14, actually Vada, two types of Vada, 14. Hmm? Yes. Then after explaining the Adharaniya Vega, so the natural one we should not control, uh, in Ayurveda, and it explains the natural are just that has to be controlled. It says, Dareetu Sadavegan Hideshi Pretya Sa Ihaksa, Loba, Irsha, Dvesha, Malsarya, and Ragha, Dinam, Jidhentia. These uh, are just, these uh, uh, natural are just should be controlled. So you can see how broadly Ayurveda uh, explains. Uh, things to maintain health. Next slide. So I hope uh, I am audible, right? Naveenji, I'm audible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone, yeah. And everyone is able to follow the presentation, I hope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I rather again explain 10 sins, which one should not do. It uh, says, Himsa, Teya, Anyadha Kamam, Paishunyam, Parusha, Anurdham, Sambhinnalabham, Vyabhadam, Abhidhya, Drik Vibhiriyam. So I explained violence, but should restrain from all these violence, theft, being unfaithful, ab abusive speech, being rude, uh, lying, uh, gossiping, tendency to harm, longing for others' belonging, and undue criticism. Uh, yes, next slide. Yes, some practical things uh, uh, to improve immunity, in, uh, which is uh, which comes under the heading. All this comes under the heading of lifestyle. One should love our job. See, when you love your job, you don't have to work for a single day. And another thing, avoid continuous sitting. So in present time, see, we sit, uh, we get up, we sit in the toilet. After that, we sit for breakfast. Then we will be traveling in a vehicle, sitting person. We reaching office. In certain, most most people, many not not everyone, and then sitting, then again coming back, having food, watching TV. This say sitting is equal to smoking. So we are we are also like part of the animal kingdom. So we are not supposed to sit continuously. So some physical activity should be there. Uh, keep yourself engaged. Yoga and pranayam. Some yoga pranayam daily. Certain hobbies, uh, playing badminton, playing chess, music. Whatever certain hobbies should be there to relax the body and mind. So all these uh, small, small things which we all know, but they are important uh, to maintain health. So we should know that. See, health uh, doesn't come uh, uh, from a lab or simply taking medicine. One should not be healthy. So it's a comprehensive concept. We should follow these simple, simple things. Next slide. 
yeah coming to the medication see the medication so we explain diet the way to improve the diet lifestyle and the medicine so main mainly medications are rasayana in nature certain medicines actually i will uh, just in the coming slides i will just name certain medicines also which are prophylactic uh, in the uh, uh, we can use as a prophylactic measures in covid 19 period so rasayana ayurveda explain the benefits i the i have written the translation the meaning it explain dirghamayu smriti medha aarogyam tarunam vaya prabha varna sora audha sora udharyam dehendriya balam pala glabo vaya hi sastana rasadinam rasayanam so all the meaning i have written so the benefits of rasayana aushadas are detailedly explained with the promotion of strength a uh, promotion of memory intelligence immunity against disease preservation of youth lesser complexion prevention of dadukshaya uh, promotion of total health content of an individual so rasayana uh, there are many rasayana aushadas but i always uh, advise to have a discussion with your physician ayurvedic physician and then only take the suitable medicine next slide please three important medicines i just for uh, familiarity chavana prasham we all know chavana prasham as a rasayana aushadha and sea health sea health is a medicine uh, 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 made by kotakala ayurvedishala uh, a rasayana aushadha which can be used regularly for everyone in the home a diabetic patient can have sugar free mode uh, sugar free uh, sea health but after discussing with your physician only and brahma rasayana there are other rasayanas dashamola rasayana kushman rasayana agastya rasayana lot of rasayanas are there in dukandam also having rasayana properties so uh, which are used in different condition because ayurveda treatment is customized based on the uh, patient condition so patient with same disease may different person with same disease will have a different combination of medicines to be prescribed based on lot of factors their pregnancy agni their digestive capacity a uh, lot of things next slide yeah now chigilsa uh, see the ayurveda just to have an idea about the treatment because even if we follow everything sometimes we may get uh, affected with disease so the disease uh, chigilsa broadly classified into to shamana and shodhana shamana is mainly done with uh, medicines uh, uh, the disease is not chronic or uh, it's mild in nature so it's a palliative therapy dibana pachana etc fasting or uh, giving medicines to improve the digestive fire minimum medicine brings the it brings the vitiated dosha to normal state without provoking normally function, uh, functioning doshas that is also very important while treating for a disease that should not uh, develop uh, uh, to another Uh, disease means or side effect should not be there and only the treatment will be proper now the shodhana shodhana are elimination therapy cleansing the, the chronic condition if the uh, doshas are more inside the body if the metabolic waste can get accumulated in the body which uh, later convert into free radicals and may cause certain disease so the periodic shodhana uh, helps in cleansing of the body just like we service our vehicle periodically so it's a uh, the shodhana procedure panchakarma which everyone will be familiar panchakarma will explain what are panchakarma briefly it expels the vitiated dosha out of the body and it should be done under strict medical supervision hospitalization is required so now we will see the next slide panchakarma there are vamanam virejanam vasti nasyam and rakta moksham so vamana is actually induce medic emesis inducing uh, emesis inducing vomiting uh, giving certain preparation many disease condition it is uh, being done uh, mainly skin conditions infertility etc etc and virejanam the purgation inducing purgation it is done both vamana and virejana are done after sneha pana sneha pana is administration of medicated ghee in an increasing dose see the uh, ayurveda explain that with a sim- simple simile that i will explain so see for example if you want to uh, wash our uh, plate simply showing in the water uh, uh, won't give a proper cleanliness so what we we apply the detergent to that so the uh, waste are detached from the uh, vessel 
then showing into water. Say type the sneha pana intake of medicated ghee. Before that, the agni deep tea, even a person is done to improve the administration of ghee, sneha pana properly. Uh, then certain signs and symptoms are there of some mix into that, the proper. So that uh, helps uh, in Ayurvedic explain detaching the doshas from different cellular level and brings that doshas or toxic substance into the gut. From gut, it is eliminated in vamana through vomiting and in virajana through purgation. Now, vasti. Vasti is another, uh, vasti is sometimes in the ardha jiggles or half of the treatment in certain disease conditions. Mainly vada vyadi. Uh, diseases caused by vada, neurological conditions and uh, osteoarthritis conditions. Many diseases uh, are there. So, vasti is uh, actually uh, administration of medicated precautions to it bypasses the liver, so the absorption will be more. It has two benefits. It's, uh, it helps in the shuddhi, clearing of the toxins. Also, some medicines are being absorbed into the system, which uh, by bypassing liver. So, and the next is nasyam, which uh, we have seen uh, in uh, dinajarya also. So dinajarya, it is done in what, two or three, one or two drops for maximum three times. In, in uh, disease condition, it is done with a higher dose. Dep the oil will be designed based on the patient's condition. So, Nasyam, we know, uh, uh, Nasyam is uh, helpful in many diseases affecting the supraclavicular region. And I will say, Nasahi Siraso Dwaram Tena Tad Vyapya Antitan. I will explain, nostril are the entry to the brain. So it uh, can close the blood brain barrier and uh, it helps uh, in diseases affecting all supraclavicular region. Then uh, coming, so Nasyam is helpful in diseases like uh, uh, cervical spondylosis or diseases of uh, uh, nervous system that diseases that affects in the brain. Many disease conditions, uh, uh, stroke, uh, Parkinson's disease, many diseases conditions. Uh, and uh, rectum option, now the bloodletting method. Rectum option. Certain conditions, skin conditions, and this the rectal motion is a bloodletting uh, treatment. So, bloodletting is done by jaluga using leech or prachana, breaking with a needle or uh, siravyatha, venous uh, uh, puncture. So, these are actually panchakarma. So, we will have a understand that panchakarma, the massage based treatment or uh, portly massage, powder massage, they are panchakarma. They are actually puro karma, actually preparing the body for purificatory procedure. So these are actually panchakarmas. So we just uh, gone through the aspects like diet, lifestyle, and uh, 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 medication, medication. Next slide, and treatment aspect also very brief idea. So which we uh, already explained, vamana, virajana, vasti, nasya, and rectum moksha. Yes, next slide. Now we will just have a COVID-19 and Ayurveda and the importance of immunity in period of COVID-19. Okay, yes, next slide. So COVID-19, we all have a, a lot of information. It was first reported in Wuhan city, China in December 2019. It's caused by SARS-CoV-2, uh, initially called as novel coronavirus. Coronaviruses are, are the diseases like SARS, MERS, Middle East Respiratory, or caused by coronavirus. It's a new virus now named as SARS CoV 2. And uh, WHO announced it as a pandemic in March 2020. It affected more than 's virus the virus doesn't live outside a living cell so the covid 19 effect may many people will be asymptomatic with mild symptoms so it uh, multiply inside the cell it uh, transmit to uh, many per persons so the one virus which uh, uh, born in wuhan now reached every every part of the globe kerala usa uh, uk africa australia all continents next slide Uh, just I just include the uh, major symptoms of COVID-19. So many symptoms just for an awareness. We all know, I think, cough, fever, chills, muscle pain, 
loss of smell and taste, sore throat, vomiting, sometimes diarrhea. Because actually, this virus, uh, see, wherever the ACE receptors are there, this can get attached uh, into our nose, uh, throat, uh, lungs, or even gut, even brain, eyes. So, uh, depending on the site, this it manifests its symptoms. Next slide. Yes. This is, uh, see, infectious disease model. See, every infection, mainly in, infectious disease, three uh, factors are there. One is the pathogen, then the pathogen or agent, then the medium by which it is uh, uh, transmitting, then host. So the pathogen here is SARS-CoV-2, the virus, which is invisible to our eyes, and environment or medium by air, or fomite transmission, even though it's less, but still fomite transmission tends, surfaces. So in, from surfaces, if we touch our hand and without washing it, if we uh, place the hand to our, or tip the hand to our mouth, nose, tense is there. So that's why uh, the hand hygiene practice are explained, that we will explain. So, but environment, then host, that host is us. See, the uh, many preventive aspect, I always explain mainly on the pathogen and the environment aspect. The host level, uh, because we have to uh, adopt multi-level actions in fighting a strong uh, disease. Because strong, because it has a capacity to spread quickly. Next slide. So the preventive measures, which we all know, uh, SMS, soap or sanitizer, mask, uh, wearing a proper N95 mask or double masking, double masking, and then single N95 mask, you know, otherwise we can wear a cloth mask uh, outside the, uh, uh, and then, or a surgical mask inside, then a cloth mask, and social distancing, maintaining a distance. And then another thing WHO emphasize on having proper ventilation. Because the indoor transmission, chance of indoor transmission more, having proper ventilation. So here, these are always, for the one and a half years we are uh, uh, listening to this. So this we are all following. Still, the disease transmission is happening. So the other two methods, the main least which we already discussed, improving the host immunity is one of the major and important thing. Because the three factors, agent, medium. So another method is also there, which Ayurveda offers. Next slide, I will see. Next slide, yes. The Abharaj is the Dhuma Chorna. See, uh, the, I have written some detail, the ingredients and etc. I say like uh, herbal fumigation. This, actually the medium is through air. So this uh, has proven to have antimicrobial properties. And it uh, reduces bacteria and uh, fungi in considerably in earlier studies. See, even in Kerala, <coughs> sorry, but in, during the first wave, in Palakkad district, the market cases started reporting. Market is a busy place. So the municipality, in connection with the ISM department, Ayurvedic uh, government department, they started fumigating the market every day, morning and evening, or evening. And evening. But that considerably reduced the further infections, the further case reporting from the market. Trishur also it was done. Now in Alapi district from yesterday onwards, it is, uh, uh, they are started practicing it. The public places will be done by, the fumigation will be done by the municipality and everyone uh, are instructed to do this inside home also. So these are, see some certain ingredients. See, this is uh, manufactured by Aushadi and all, otherwise the neem, uh, loban, gugulu, uh, etc. Uh, also used uh, vaja uh, for fumigation. Next, next slide. Yeah, so before coming to this, uh, see the Ayurvedic method, the, uh, the three factors we discussed, and uh, always uh, we are hearing the SMS method, but the Ayurveda have two See Pandemic defense is the most comprehensive model uh, uh, explained by modern medicine. 
chess chess model so that it is very simple multiple layer improve success multiple layer of protection that is chess chess so the multiple layers include like physical distancing mask uh, hand hygiene cuff etiquette limit your time when you are going to a crowded place you have mandatorily and uh, uh, proper ventilation uh, proper testing and contact tracing and isolation government finance financial support from the government and the uh, vaccine etc so a multi level approach so i am here actually on the suggestion ayurveda model so ayurveda model have all these things because ayurveda explained the nidana parivartanam eva chikitsa treatment nidana parivartanam nidana nidanam is here the sars cov2 virus so to avoid the virus all these methods needs to be followed the two uh, addition from this is model is it ayurveda model along with these fumigation which helps uh, in uh, considerably reducing the microbial uh, anti uh, microbe in in uh, and the air also improving the host immunity so that's what we explained with the many the diet lifestyle and medicine here we will just discuss certain specific things in connection with reference to the uh, covid 19 mainly suggested by ayush and also some from our uh, clinical experience and personal knowledge mind to body relaxation is also very very important uh, see the most of the diseases are psychosomatic in nature so along with uh, healthy body a relaxed mind Uh, jeera coriander ginger garlic black pepper etc in cooking L- taking lot of fruits and vegetables next slide please ah, so certain medicines are also explained uh, chavana prasham uh, for a diabetic patient sugar free chavana prasham or tea health can be taken but if, the medicines while like medicine i always want to uh, consult your uh, physician start golden milk or turmeric milk herbal tea made of from basil cinnamon black pepper or dry ginger and i i ayush ministry as a ayush kwadam that's a, a powder containing four herbs that include tulsi dalchini cinnamon and uh, dry ginger and uh, uh, yeah and it should be added with black pepper resin eh? we will see the uh, other slide yeah some other uh, practical home kitchen remedies which we can follow ginger with uh, honey uh, uh, please uh, mute uh, uh, ginger with the jaggery ginger and jaggery one piece of ginger with jaggery can be crushed and take these are simple things uh, kitchen things but which uh, helps in improving the agni bala digestion and it has ginger has got anti viral property many studies are there water boiled adding dry ginger and coriander many things are there depending on the country a lot of fruits a lot of vegetable vegetable soup can be taken adding black pepper gargle with warm water added with turmeric and rock salt and uh, warm water hot water warm water and steam inhalation nostric cap is a capsule uh, from ayurveda sala which can be used uh, for steam inhalation see with steam it uh, even if the vi- virus uh, it uh, helps uh, uh in quick, uh, quick elimination of the virus also preventing from the virus to enter into a lower respiratory tract uh, next slide uh, next slide please yeah certain uh, immuno modulatory medicine medicines uh, because we always use the term boost the immunity actually the correct term should be immuno modulatory ayurvedic medicines are you know modulatory in nature actually Uh, mainly the ayush kadam one study was done in ayurveda sala uh, so it uh, it's proven the properties as immunomodulatory in nature not boost immunomodulatory means having a properly functional immune system the certain disease like autoimmune disease the immune system is strong and it attacks our own uh, tissues so weak immunity is strong it's not it's not it's a, uh, making our immune system vibrant making our immune system uh, that uh, resist the disease at having a proper function 
So many medicines can be used as immunomod, indukandam, drakshadi, viluadi, ayushpadam, chavala prasim, just for understanding tea health, ashwagandha churnam, ayu 64, ayu 64 and kabasura gudanir. Ayu 64 is a medicine containing four ingredients. Kabasura gudanir is a siddha preparation containing 15 ingredients, uh, which are, uh, the contents are improving digestion, ATDP, etc. These two are uh, uh, proven result in uh, viral diseases. I mean, even Kabasura Kudanir have an effect, uh, uh, research uh, came, which is effective in COVID-19 also. Uh, next slide. Yeah, okay. So I just uh, uh, show this slide. After explaining medicine, the main reason is I don't want any of you to take these medicines without a, a proper consultation or a prescription. You can see the consulting an Ayurveda doctor is not difficult. Many, so in this, of course, they, uh, telephonic consultation is not the ideal way, but in a uh, uh, time of pandemic, we need to. So maybe more than 8 lakh uh, Ayurveda doctors are there in India. So you can consult any of the doctor and choose the medicines which are suitable to you, suitable to your body. Because even if they are good, uh, like a uh, uh, certain person, individual variation will be there. Because as I told earlier, Ayurvedic treatments are customized, individual based. Next slide. So another thing, uh, yoga uh, for no the pre pre previous slide previous slide yoga for mental both physical and mental well being yoga actually like uh, in mainly in period of COVID nineteen even when you have mild to moderate symptoms yoga asanas can be practiced sukshma experts of yoga are there so I'm not going to detail uh, sukshma vyayama or micro practices loosening exercise. It's, one or two yoga in sitting position, one uh, Vajrasana uh, or uh, Sughasana and yoga in supine position, Bhujangasana, Dandrasana, whatever possible yoga, uh, sorry, uh, supine position, uh, uh, Markadasana or uh, Pavanamukhasana and uh, prone position, uh, Bhujangasana, Dandrasana, etc. Relaxing postures like Shavasana, uh, Magarasana and Pranayama and meditation. So this uh, uh, helps improve the physical and mental well-being, make our immune system strong. And even if we get disease, it will speed up the recovery. Next slide. Uh, previous one. Yes. So, oh, so we I just explained the Ayurvedic medicines and all. So the Amrutam actually a project in uh, Kerala, uh, Kerala by uh, State Ayurveda COVID response cell. So in those who are quarantined, quarantine means the primary contacts of COVID positive patients and uh, patients, uh, people who traveled from abroad or uh, different other states where COVID is prevalent uh, were under quarantine in the first phase. So all, them, all of them has given certain prophylactic medicines. And the, there is a control. In the one lakh people, the, uh, uh, only 340, persons tested COVID positive. That is 0.34 percentage. And in control group, those who have now taken Ayurvedic medicine, 1.61 percentage became COVID positive. That is 1,610 cases. Then uh, in the 340, those who tested positive were, all of them were mild with as either asymptomatic or with mild symptoms, which is an excellent result. So then another thing, even uh, all Indian Institute of Ayurveda, they treated uh, COVID uh, cases. So uh, with 99% recovery rate, with the combination of Ayurveda, medicine, yoga, and uh, in that 94 percentage uh, uh, patients took only Ayurveda treatment. So these are another percent. And, uh, and the patients uh, who had taken Ayurveda treatment uh, was not having post-COVID difficulties, post-COVID syndrome, or post-COVID complication. In my personal, so we also having research under uh, heading uh, uh, under Dr. Ramesh uh, P. Vari, Ramesh Maria, uh, chief clinical researcher. Many research the data will come soon. So many medicines also uh, studies happening. Uh, Indukandam, Viluadi, Mukha Mukhradi, etc. And uh, the research in a large scale is happening in post-COVID. Uh, uh, 
കോംപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ മൈ പേഴ്സണൽ കൺസൾട്ടേഷൻ ഒ പി ഡി ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് പേഴ്സൺ ആക്ച്വൽ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് കേസസ് കൺസൾട്ട് മേ ബി ഫോർ ഫോൾ ബട്ട് ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് പേഷ്യൻ ഇൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് വേവ് ഇൻ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് പേഴ്സൺ ഹൂ ഹാഡ് കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ എമങ് ദം ഫൈവ് പേഷ്യൻസ് ടുക്ക് ആയുർവേദിക് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ജ്യൂറിംഗ് കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ എ ടെലിഫോണി കൺസൾട്ടേഷൻ ഓൺ ഇൻ ദ ഫൈവ് three were only on ayurvedic medicine two were taken uh, a three days course of uh, azithromycin and limsi and uh, zinc hello uh, i'm sorry uh, am i audible now yeah 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 you do ah okay ah. so it, and in, so in the, all these five patients didn't develop any post covid complication the rest 20 among the 20 17 had developed some sort of post covid complication is a very different the patient who was diabetic and it was under control with treatment diabetes become uncontrolled those who one who had ulcerative colitis and it was controlled by medication again had severe difficulties Uh, difficulty in focus focusing loss of memory and cough chest pain lethargy body pain certain such complications are visible uh, observed in all the 17 patient the three patient uh, in the three other three two were actually one was a kid and his mother so the kid was on ayurvedic medicine for last one and a half year he was having bronchial asthma he was on regular medication was on inhaler so he stopped using inhaler with the medicine but he didn't had any covid post covid complication or and uh, more than that he quickly uh, 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 became normal without much symptoms and mother was also on ayurvedic medicine for other condition but then immuno modulated medicine were there in her prescription also for 6 months so she also had mild to moderate symptoms but the father of the kid who was not on medication had severe uh, symptoms and uh, he <coughs> developed post covid complication like body pain uh, uh, chest pain etc so this is very small data but all these having an indication that ayurveda uh, uh, are very effective so see just like uh, we uh, sisters model we uh, discussed so we need to take every possible uh, action the method multiple level action multiple actions need to be taken to control this pandemic so all the ayur system and modern medicine should join hand to fight against uh, covid then actually every system is ultimately for the health of uh, for the mankind to protect the health of mankind so then there are mainly three benefits one uh, with the ayur treatment ayurvedic medicine uh, when patients start it uh, in mild to moderate stage the possibility of them to become severe or uh, uh, with needing oxygen are less so that uh, secondly that reduces the burden on modern medicine uh, economical benefits are there third post covid complications are not seen in uh, persons those who are taking ayurveda medicine so at this uh, it will be the best uh, model for uh, indian model we can call yes uh, next slide next slide so ayurveda actually uh, thousand more than thousand years ago ayurveda explained the pandemic janapada why the name of janapada uddhamsa here actually janapada means uh, a large population or community uddhamsa means that destroys the community so i don't pratna bharat due to i would want to go deep unwholesome actions of human being the vishyashan of vayu jala desha kala vishyashan happens in the air maybe air pollution we can call it uh, uh, water and season climatic changes and the land which recourse janavadodamsa vyathi actually even now evidences are there uh, uh, evidences are there actually the climate uh, climatic change and deforestation etc having a role in uh, causing changes in disease uh, uh, infectious disease uh, transmission pattern so these uh, uh, changes have a major role climatic uh, change deforestation having a deforestation etc may have a major role in 
uh, having um, infectious disease changes in infectious disease transmission pattern. So, next slide. Yes, so this is very important slide. We all know. So, as I told, nature doesn't need people. People need nature. Fresh air, clean water, healthy food. These are the primary needs for us. So we should. So we should protect nature. Will be a foolish statement. Actually, as the nature protect us, we should respect nature and should not harm nature. So that nature protect us. Yes. Next slide. Yeah. So. And this is Shinrin Yoko. Actually, uh, it's as a Japan, Japan, in Japan, such works are going on. It's called as forest bath. It's simply going through the forest, uh, sitting in the forest. Actually, so this uh, uh, is found out to be reduced significantly reduce heart attack. It reduces the BP, mood boosting effect, immunomodulatory effects. It reduces a stress hormone, improving the improve the feeling of happiness and creativity and speed up the recovery from illnesses the forest bath but to have these things we have for us we should have we should uh, should not harm nature so next slide yes so with a simple uh, slide so ayurveda actually in ashtanga yeah i'm sorry i think i have taken a lot of time i uh, hope uh, you're not getting bored so this uh, is very important. So Ayurveda explained this sloga. The meaning is, last it says, Bhavatya Roga. Means by following these things, you will be free from disease. We will see. Nityam Hidahara Vihara Sevi Samiksha Kari Vishayeshu Asakta Datha Tama Satyapara Shamavan Aptoba Sevicha Bhavatya Roga. See how comprehensively Ayurveda uh, explains how to prevent disease. So always resort to the healthy Hidahara, daily taking Hidahara. The Hidahara will be like individual to individual, there will be variation depending on the condition. And Samikshigari, objective, like Samikshigari can be different. There. See, when we are simply speaking, uh, you are going to start a business, so you should have a proper market study whether the business will work here or not. Then you should start. Or when, while crossing road, you should look both sides. <laughs> and uh, we share apathetic sensual pressure, generous. Samai, seeing everyone as equal, being honest, Shama, having patience. That's why I use the traditional. Aptobasavi. Aptobasavi means, uh, means Ayurveda says the, the Ayurvedic texts are considered as Aptobadesha. For a patient, uh, his doctor's advice are Aptobadesha. For children, their parents' uh, advice are Aptobadesha. Teachers, for students, teachers' advice are considered as Aptobadesha. So, in one slogan, it uh, broadly and comprehensively explained how to prevent diseases. Uh, next slide. So I'm winding up my session. Sarve Loga Samasta Sugino Bhavantu. That's the prayer in this present era. So I hope everyone uh, will have a healthy, happy life. Everyone should resort to the Ayurvedic uh, uh, methods to improve immunity following uh, SMS uh, method, every other precautions. Next slide. Just to want to say one thing. Labhanam Shreya Arugya. Of all the gifts, most precious is health, which we should always uh, remember. Next. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for a patient listening. I think uh, I've taken a lot of time. I, uh, but... <clears throat> Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Ken. It's a very valuable and very knowledgeable session. And I hope people are getting the benefit from you. And <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I sincerely thank Voice of uh, Yoga for giving me this uh, opportunity. And uh, you helped a lot uh, for uh, arrangement. And I uh, want to thank Ayurveda Sala and my friends, colleagues, everyone for the help and all. All the audience who patient for a patient listening, I sincerely thank all of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice yeah. session, sir. Yeah. Thank oh, you thank so you, much. Thank you. Uh, happy to hear. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor.
uh, if uh, anyone having any doubts we can have a discussion uh, i think dr pages uh, is there i hope mm, uh, so he and i think many of my friends in the ayurveda many expert from ayurvedic field also join the session so they can also take part in the discussion session and uh, uh, they can share their inputs on the subject also so which will be helpful uh, for the audience so i all the all the doctors all the ayurveda doctors all the doctor their inputs also valuable hello ah yeah hi yeah hello, yeah, hello. Uh, yeah. Doctor, doctor dr tejas uh, senior physician ayurveda shala yeah. thank you for am i audible yeah yes sir yeah uh, i would like to add uh, one or two points uh, regarding the immunity and all uh, ayurveda uh, consider this immunity in a term ojas ojas is uh, considered as correlate to immunity that is sahaja uh, immunity already told uh, when you born from your parents you will get the immunity so that is the sahaja so that immunity start from the gestational period itself so the uh, when a woman got pregnant that time starts the immunity process making of immunity process you have to take proper diet for the uh, pregnant woman mental status everything which directly related to the sahaja immunity okay and uh, the that is uh, one part after that the uh, person get exposed to different infections and uh, they will acquire the passive immunity then we got the vyadhi vala viroditva that is the resistance power of our body resistance power is normally with all our dhadus there is a sara product that is called the apara ojas apara ojas is the sara product of all our dhadus rasa rakta mamsa majja shukra all the dhadus different type of tissues the essence of all dhadus is called the apara ojas so we have to produce all the uh, dhadus in proper optimum manner and with good properties we have to produce so that we have to maintain our agni bala agni bala in the jadaragni so that jadaragni directly related to dhadu so agni moolam dalam pumsam so that when you initiate or uh, uh, reduce your uh, this jadaragni that definitely affect the dhatu agni the dhatu agni reduces the apara ojas is get reduced so we have to produce the apara ojas proper amount then you can improve your vyadhi vyadhi vala viroditva so that is the ayurvedic perspective view and uh, you can called as the bala okay yeah. uh, even uh, all other things which uh, uh, i want to say the pancharma procedures also pratyagra dadu balavarna yukta this bala is again referred to the abara ojas so when you do a panchakarma treatment your uh, dadus get uh, nourished properly and dadugni will be stabilized then you got got the abara ojas proper quantity yeah, and whenever you thing. whenever you got a, a mild infection the our prana shakti is directly going for killing the germs so that time we have to follow a light food or light diet when you eat a heavy food your prana shakti or river resistant power will be going more for digestion and the disease process will be aggravity or uh, amplifying so we have to reduce the quantity of food as such as easy as possible light food on the disease time so that the prana shakti will be directly going into disease killing so that it is the body to easy to combat with the disease this is my uh, point and you can 
एंड हम लिटिल पानी या लाइक षडंग पानी या एंड यू कैन यूज दिस धान्य का शुंडी पानी है दैट इज द ड्राई जिंजर वन पार्ट एंड थ्री पार्ट ऑफ कोरियंडर अब धनिया यू बॉइल इन टू और थ्री लीटर वाटर and you drink that frequently in a uh, lukewarm water that will uh, improve your digestive for as early as possible so you drink for two days then the fever cold and everything will get reduced that time you are not supposed to take heavy food steps like uh, uh, milk milk products and uh, fried items non vegetarian food all these things you have to avoid then you can combat the disease within 2 3 days and you can go to the normalcy as soon as possible thank you thank you thank you teacher sir and thank you doctor no, thank you doctor yeah. thank you dr tejas for the very well uh, very well uh, information thank you doctor for joining the uh, session thank you so much thank you so <clears throat> anyone else if anyone uh, have any question then i uh, will uh, uh, wind the session so let's talk series we will begin with the uh, next level and uh, we coordinate with the kiran sir and we will try to arrange the more session like that and this is the yes, very, yes, our yeah, our yeah. pleasure as our pleasure we will be uh, we will be continuing this as a series uh, as we as discussed uh, different yeah. doctors uh, i will i will i will uh, coordinate this i will contact with you yeah okay thank you so much sir thank you so much thank you for so, joining us so thank you so much thank you everyone uh, for a patient listening once again everyone thank you